The world's most famous supervolcano, Yellowstone, nestled in the scenic landscapes of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, is once again drawing attention. After several hydrothermal eruptions, earthquake swarms. On the evening of May 31st, park visitors and a scientific webcam near Black Diamond Pool in Biscuit Basin captured a rare hydrothermal eruption, a forceful blast of steam, gas, and water from deep within the Earth's crust. The column soared into the night air, reminding the public that Yellowstone always has been an extremely active geothermal system. In fact, this was the second observed eruption at Black Diamond since the July 2024 event. These are spectacular, but they're more of a surface phenomenon, said a geophysicist at YVO. They don't indicate deeper volcanic movement. Think of them as Yellowstone burping. Adding to the month's activity was the dramatic eruption of Steamboat Geyser on April 14, which blasted boiling water nearly 300 feet into the sky. It marked the second major eruption of Steamboat in 2025, continuing a pattern of intermittent surges that began in 2018. While once dormant for decades, Steamboat's renewed activity underscores Yellowstone's unpredictable surface behavior. Okay, with that, let's... Now let's talk about the earthquakes, deformation, and geyser activity that occurred over the past month. Seismologists recorded 119 earthquakes across the Yellowstone region in May 2025, including three swarms north-northeast of West Yellowstone, Montana. Earthquake swarms are common at Yellowstone, and often reflect shifting hydrothermal fluids or adjustments in the Earth's crust. Yellowstone National Park remains open, though several geothermal zones, including portions of Norris Geyser Basin, the Upper Geyser Basin, and trails near Yellowstone Lake, have been temporarily closed due to concerns about ground instability. Yeah. Uh, let me go first so I can make this up stable. Walk right where I'm walking. The Yellowstone supervolcano last erupted approximately 640,000 years ago, with two smaller eruptions occurring 1.3 and 2.1 million years ago. Experts emphasize that a catastrophic eruption is unlike in the near term. Still, if it were to erupt, the event could potentially release over 1,000 cubic kilometers of ash and pyroclastic material, blanketing the United States and causing global temperature drops due to sulfur aerosols injected into the stratosphere. Agricultural collapse, mass displacement, and aviation shutdowns could follow.